Hi, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Heart. Just get into the game. See where we left off. We actually did good in the last episode. I didn't die. Alrighty. Yeah, Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is going to kill us all? I can't stop thinking about it. Could Collective really be dangerous? Of course not. Collective cannot be dangerous. Of That's all there is not. to it. Only its owner can be dangerous. Okay. Exit. Okay, where am I going this way? Creepy at all. Don't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over. There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... She dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechenov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone Because you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. <laughs> but I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this and he has to be stopped bullshit i'm sick of this crap you're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode <laughs> sorry that's not gonna happen hell it will <laughs> i've already put everything into motion stop this was supposed to be i said a stop. special day for us <sighs> I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. It was going to happen right here in the theater. House and Bottom. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. <gasps> Shit! Unexpected. He's definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilome. Come in, Chilome. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way. I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Oh, wow. Okay, I hear him. Okay. 
least one of them doesn't want to kill me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest Stuff ever seen. <laughs> Today we bring you the debut of a new rising star. Please bear with us if the act seems a bit unpolished. The young lady is still rather shy, but we'll work out the kinks as we go. After all, there's nothing wrong with a little kink, <laughs> is there? It is my great pleasure to present to you the lovely Natasha! <sighs> Holy... Okay, we need to kill this thing. nowhere near you. Well, I've got a ton of freaking ammo. How do you like that, gearhead? Come to Papa. Maybe a tin god. Not. Did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Bloody hell.
is our first session. I'm recording with the chirper for your file, Victor. So tell me about yourself. What kind of person are you? Hmm. Well, uh, I'm an upstanding citizen of the Soviet Union, a hardworking member of our society. Uh, I live for science, and I have two passions that are very important to me. Love and robots. And then, believe it or not, he says to me, in the grand finale, we're going to put this big old beauty on stage. I mean, what the fuck? It's an old model, and it's hard to program. So I'm thinking we should this is my show, and I'll decide what we should and should not do. You, comrade, are a programmer, so either do your job with a smile on your face or get the hell out of my theater. Uh, comrade Lastochkin, I completely understand. I was merely offering a suggestion. I don't suppose you'd like something a little heavier? Oh, now you're speaking my language. What have you got for me? Oh, it'll be truly spectacular. You'll love it. Hey, you. Yes, you with the dumb face. Get over here. You're not speaking to me. What did you just say? Oh my! Do you really not understand plain human speech? All right, never mind. Just drag my body to the entrance. When the rescue workers arrive, I want them to find me first. My magnificent body will grace the first pages of newspapers everywhere, not just the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. Come on, dummy! Don't just stand there like a debutante. The theater director commands you. <laughs> Looks like Petrov was the one who put on the most mind-blowing performance here. Not you. Oh, please, spare my side. Who is Petrov? A waste of skin that went berserk and pushed the right button? No, it was my genius that nurtured this theater. I molded its backstage. But then again, why am I arguing with a cultural pick me? Come on, pick me up already! <laughs> You're fucking demanding for a dead man, you know that? <gasps> you don't say. Are you showing your teeth? Oh, what a delightful plebeian expression. Remember, boy, puffing your chest and showing off character does not mean you are actually in possession of said character. Come on, do what you're told already. You are a lackey of section offs. You should be used to being bossed about. <laughs> yeah, I lost him just when you open your mask, dude. What a tool. Absolutely nothing interesting in this whole place. to get upstairs on the hill. current status, Comrade Major. I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy. Get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat robot in the theater charles but you know what really grinds my gears no comrade major the rings the motherfucking rings that asshole petrov gave me 
You know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me neither. Shit! Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hmm. Ah. We're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex. Located in a remote part of Facility 3826, called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot, given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Searching uh, for other right. testing grounds is highly recommended. Okay. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. <laughs> so, what will it be, Major? I'm just sending Weapons? little robots. Can I have its head? Okay, so I'm gonna make the Kalash simply because we have bullets for it and lots of bullets for it. If I had enough bullets to make the fat boy, I would have made that too. And also this has uh, granted. a lot more ammo. Uh, storage. That's, that's like 90. I wish I knew what this is for, but anyway. What I can do is disassemble these three. Because I'm not going to make that thing. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade this thing. It spins points to spin. Wow, English. Hundred percent more quickly. Mm. I think I really need it. Thank you. 
Okay. What does it look like that one wants to get off the table? Enough. This one's got a lot of buttons, damn. And it's a so quick, damn it. At least I got like 23 seconds with the other ones. Uh, and it's got no timing. screwed up. I really, really want to protect her, to cherish her. And no one can stand in our way. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players, and that includes me. I'm going to play my greatest role here at this theater. And my robots will assist me. It'll be the greatest show of all time. It should be on some a special day, a day that would become momentous indeed. Did you enjoy the show? Thank you. Please come again. Come back soon. 
We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next show will be even more interesting. Please come back in here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. Leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth. The other end, foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! I'm trying. Too many voices Major at once. I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. Fading data. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? Jeez, no. everybody wants these damn rings. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. <laughs> Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me, even Dr. Sechenov, and mm -hmm. I never saw it coming. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where did mm -hmm. he get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers? Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen yeah. to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. The Atomic Heart Project. Trov wasn't mine. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. Excuse me. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the Beta Connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a Beta oh, no, Connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected mm -hmm. human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. Charles, no one can force somebody into Collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of Collective, how can Collective... <gasps> I just died? <laughs> I just exploded myself.
beat's sake. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Did I hear right? Kind of sort of. that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, I wanted to himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't have to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov. No, I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on it. That's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. <clears throat> Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me, even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the box during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. Oopsies. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers? Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? And if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. The Atomic Heart Project. The Trov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. Who's this? Charles, Whoa, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially Ew. not collective after the launch. For collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist but they'll be able to see collective yes all of them a person with a beta connector will not be able to influence collective from the inside since they won't exist for collective but they will know about everything that happens inside it just like an officially connected human or robot but can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from collective if they want to they can just take their thought device off right i have no data comrade major but no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device it's worn on the head mm. not implanted in the skull Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mm. mental commands from Ooh. you in response to its queries. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off. Right? Essentially, yes. There's got to be more to it than that. No.
him for once. This is the red one that hurts, okay. Damn it, why is there so many? Where the hell is this red one? I killed it already. <laughs> Just as well I uh, did this. Might as well fill up. Okay, that's enough now. you come from?
Tell me, Comrade Major, based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart Project? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I you're right. What's that a smell? A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from Collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective. And whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from Collective, but a thought can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into Collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct. I think there was something behind this bus stop. Where is that? is being resurrected Assholes.
show you how to bring this other thing down. It's like only every now and again that she speaks to us. That's a good one. Oh, that's a better one. Finally murdered that sleazy scumbag. Huh, the sick bastard killed himself. Oh, admit it. You were toying with him. You could have shot him in his leg or paralyzed him with the shock. I gave you excellent weapons. What? No. He set the whole goddamn circus up in advance. Oh, don't you worry, sugar. I won't tell anyone. I belong only to you, so nobody will know you made Petrov perish by his own hand. Oh, I'll treat this as your wedding gift, big guy. One more word and I swear I'll beat the living crap out of you. All men are the same. First you take everything from a woman, and then you cast her aside like a broken toy. I gave you the best oh, of my life, and you treat me like a soulless machine. Fuck you. Who the fuck do you think you are, then? I'm your special woman, loyal to you alone, sweetheart. Then be special and loyal with your trap shut. I don't have time for your shit right now. <laughs> wow. from everything. I like this bridge with the triangles, it's pretty. Okay, there's the thing that I need to bring down to my left. And everything becomes docile. Beautiful scene. I do want to go and uh, and I can't get there. Well, that kind of sucks. I want to bring this thing down. And it goes down that way. Loaded full of stories. Fishies.
medical checkup. Just in case anything decides to join us. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. It's fine, really. Yeah, sure, it's fine. Saharov didn't die, Kamri. Saharov lives. What? Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an assistant professor from AOC. It matters not. Saharov lives. Okay. Zaharov? He is Dr. Sechenov's closest supporter. A man whose genius may surpass Sechenov himself. It was believed Zaharov perished a few years ago in an unfortunate accident. But he did not. I studied the documents. And all of the most revolutionary papers show signs of his involvement. This personal touch, if you like. I worked with him personally and knew his attitude well. Caustic comments, radical methods, unmitigated interruptions. He is most definitely alive. But one question remains. If he is alive and still working, why would somebody hide it? Eh, sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Right now it's hard to tell who's alive and who isn't. Maybe he's hidden in a box somewhere. What's the point? You can't even record your observations. What? Oh, shit. You have a point. So you will help me. Please stay next to me over the entire period of the <laughs> composition and keep track of the progress. Ew. You will manage. It won't take long. It won't take 535 to 650 days in current condition. Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, cut off a cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Swap. Focus. Keep an eye on that incision. Okay, okay. Focus. Shit. Pressure on it. Now. The polymer wasn't absorbed by the tissue again, so it created a pathological cavity. There are nodules like this all over his body. What do those heartless animals want from people, huh? You may be right, comrades. But that is not your concern. Do your job. Private, bring in the next one. Yes, comrade colonel. The polymer needs to be absorbed. If it's not, 
save whoever you can and clean this place up. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalomay? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will, of course, be required. But what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Fading air. Yep. Come on, go. Are you kidding me? Please select the desired procedure. I need bullets. Lots of bullets. I don't know if I want to keep the shotgun on me right now. The shotgun is nice and all, but uh, this one does a lot more damage and it's got a lot more bullets. It's not as slow as the shotgun. Oh, 
waste one more damage. Well done. That would be a nice one, extended magazine. Very, very nice. Okay, let's... Uh... Just see where is this other mother there? It's too many mothers. Where is it? In this room. So the, there's a bunch downstairs. Okay, well, let's clean up. I need the stuff and the things to do upgrades. Must be downstairs. You're incredible, Professor. Your calculations and solutions are so elegant and logical. Your work on mimetic polymer adaptation is an amazing contribution to science. Thank you very much, but it was really a team effort. Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Ivan Vikov, junior lab assistant at Pavlov Complex. I work in the archives, but my dream is to work under you. I'm a huge fan it's of your work. Well, your passion is commendable. Although it is, frankly, a little concerning. The polymers are a quickly evolving scientific field with amazing potential. But I'm afraid passion alone won't be enough to advance it. Let's talk again in a month or so and see what we can do. For now, uh, please excuse me. Science calls. A month? But I don't have a month. You'll hear about me, Professor. No, you will. Bet on it. It's a little bit psychotic. Just a little bit. Why can't I pick that up? Difficult to tell what is on this floor. Definitely something creepy. Let's see if I can get this one or if it's 
behind a wall or something. Mm, it's behind a wall. Looking for a way to this room. I wonder where it is. There's a pipe there. I do see the chest. Okay, the radio is all ever be. That will not uh, tell us anything. That was uh, sad. Where's that last one? Chipper. I'm here, oh, honey. What? Why didn't it play? Let's open this room first. Then we'll go to that big room. Oh no, we need a thing. Okay. No, we need a code. Oh, that sounds like a big mother. Mother if her looks like there's a lot of crap down here.
Good. I think I got everything. Okay, well, let's loot. Let's start looting at the beginning. somewhere where the hell's the plush I don't want to find a plush I have not seen the code to that door upstairs Ugh, there's a plush up that in that door isn't there I really hate the pliers. It's a pliers in there, isn't there? one of those things. I hate that I know there's a plier just somewhere.
Okay, that makes me think that there's just secrets on this side. Okay, it's just another way out. It's safe. Access granted. Phew. Get out of the way. There's another saber. Nice. Um. What a jerk. That's the main mission. Nothing down there. Splatter your ass. Okay, there's one more dude. Genuinely can't get him, can I? That sucks. But him I can. Wonder if I can get this guy with my with this thing. Oh, 
Raum. Really? Before I do that, let's just uh, loot first. I don't know what I'm doing, man. So, oh. Wow. It's a lot of bodies. Okay, so that flooded this area. I see. But no, I have to swim on that stuff. It's black. Oh my word. Okay, that's not too bad, I can see. supposed to go. Not like that, one bit. There's a playhouse there. 
Maybe the player's there. Shush you. Crazy thing. They seem to be a mother. What the hell is this? Oh, there's a playoosh right there. Just stay in your thing, please. Suppose that camera is gonna might wake up the plushes. Where's his mother? Get in there. We can't get in there. You just need to stay in your little capsules, please. I need a coin.
Okay, so now we need to look for a queen. Data deleted, data deleted. found a cookie. About what? About your Stockhausen's disgusting behavior. I was injured, but could have been saved. I was bleeding out and begged him for help. But that stock of yours, and I know you're calling him that ironically, just passed me by. He asked one of these robot ballerinas to step in my throat so that I'd stop making noise, and I died. <laughs> stock really is a piece of shit, isn't he? Precisely. Precisely, my dear fellow. I ask you to bring this matter to light. Please air the issue with your superiors. It's just shameful. I'm not asking for myself. It's too late for me. But it is the matter of the facility's reputation. He is the assistant to the chief administrator, after all. I can deal with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think we've done what we can do. Not the negative one. 
fun will I ever accomplish if I can't even keep a couple of saints straight? The dog! The dog has the positive one. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Putting yourself worse on somebody else's shoulders is just... Playoosh, playoosh, bloody hell. No. What are you gawking at? You stink. No, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Blood for blood, right? No. No. Okay, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. I don't even know when last I saved. Ugh, I hate plushies. Douche galooshes. Oh, really? Is this plushies? Should really be a save after this room. This is a lot of shit to kill twice. God damn fuck. That's what I say, buddy. Okay, let's do this again. At least we know where the cookie is.
Oh, shit. What's capable of this kind of brutality? This poor lady. You are expressing sympathy for a corpse, Major. It's a woman's mutilated body. You had sympathy for people just a little while ago. This person is dead, comrade Major. Make sure your weakness for women doesn't come back to bite your ass later. Something's definitely wrong with you, Charles. I'm gonna ask Sechenov to calibrate you. Seriously, not a there is. I did not see this room. Data. Yeah, please. Damn. All I really didn't see it. Major Nichayev. Major Nichayev, let's see how many points I have. Hmm, <sighs> lost. Let's just go down here. Guess that that's full now. Additional ionization allows polymetric shield to reflect laser attacks back to the enemy. Mm. I actually like this. Uh, I like this. Let's see if I can do any upgrades. this thing completely watch it oh yes that would help I wish I knew how this thing works. 
because it doesn't feel like it works. Increases accuracy. Well, let's do this one. So we get the other stuff. episode here because it's nearly time i'm not gonna start the play because that's gonna take me wait, another 20 minutes <laughs> but then die because that thing just takes so long to die but yeah thank you for watching and don't forget to lick that like button subscribe if you haven't already and I'll switch on the notifications if you want to know when another video comes out or when i go live again until then, have a wonderful evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.